Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, let's see how we can create systematic investment plan calculation in Excel for 30 years. This tracker is fully automated. For example, now here, the, here we have the investment details. Now in Nifty, the investment is 3000. Instead of 3000, if I just type it as 4000 and press enter, you can see the entire table get changed. Similarly, in the mid cap, instead of 2000, if I make it as 1000, press enter. Again, you can notice this entire table will get changed. Let me press enter. Here you go. Likewise, the written percentage instead of 12 percentage, if I make it as 15 percentage, press center. Again, the earnings, what we have, the details here will get changed. Likewise, the incremental percentage, assuming that we uh, we increase 10 percent investment every year instead of 10 percent, if I make it as 5 percent press center again the entire table get changed uh, and then we have the inflation rate instead of 5% if I make it as 6.5% which is the average uh, inflation rate of India for last 30 years if I press center again this table get changed so let me press control Z from the keyboard to keep the original data now this part it will show the year from uh, year 1 to year 30th what will be your investment for each uh, category that start from uh, first year 3000 and then you can see second year there is an increment of 10 percent that is 3000 plus 10% uh, is 300, so you have 3,300. Likewise, year on year, it is getting increased by 10%. It is same for all mid cap and small cap for next 30 years. Then we have a uh, next section uh, where you can see end of 10th year, the total investment will be 11,47,000. Uh, end of 20th year, it will be 40 lakhs. And uh, by end of 30th, the 30th year, the total investment is 1 crore 14,000. So you have the details of interest earned for 10th, 20th and 30th year. And then we have the closing balance. That is the actual amount you have in the account. And then we are also calculating the inflation uh, interest. Uh, so that we can know after the inflation uh, interest what is your actual value you have it means today you might have 100 rupees after 30 years it can uh, it might uh, value only uh, 30 rupees so likewise after uh, 30 years even though you have uh, the value of uh, 8 crores 34 lakhs in your account but actual value is only 5 crores 89000 then in this part you have the detail for uh, each month so total we have 360 uh, months each month you have the details of uh, monthly investment and then what is the opening balance and interest earned for each month and then what is the closing balance for each month then the inflation rate and interest earned after inflation now let's check into detail how exactly the entire tracker can be created to start with, uh, let's understand how this 3000 is reflecting for the year 1. So what I've given is, let me press F2 from the keyboard. I just given the reference of the nifty amount, what we have for 3000. Likewise for mid cap, again I given the reference of G4 where we have 2000. And for small cap where we have 1000. So I just given the reference of uh, G5. And for the next year, uh, so since we have the incremental percent of 10 percent, let me press F2 from the keyboard. So what I've taken, what I've done is like uh, what we have investment for the first uh, year, first month, that is first year, that is F8 plus F8 multiplied by and then we need to take the incremental percentage and also I need to lock this uh, percentage since I want to exchange this formula until the last row. Uh, so I just use the dollar symbol to lock this uh, uh, L3 cell. So once we have this similarly for uh, mid cap uh, second year, again it's the same thing the previous reference F9 plus uh, F9 multiplied by the incremental percentage of 10%. So once we have this data for uh, 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 year 2, you just need to copy pay, copy this uh, data and uh, just extend this formula until row number 15. Uh, we need to do for same uh, nifty, mid cap and small cap. And for the year 16, 
have taken the reference of 15 again now multiplied by the 15 per 10 percent incremental percentage so in with mid cap and small and once you have the row number 60 you just need to copy paste the formula from row number uh, year 17 to year 30 uh, then the next part is uh, the amount what you earn so this uh, I will explain after I explain the below table so here in this table uh, we have a year so for first 12 years 12 months uh, I have given year as one because uh, 12 months in a year and likewise for the second year again until 24 it is 12 and from 25 you can see it is 3 so here you have month and a month I just uh, typed as one for the first month and then I just use simple formula that is uh, previous uh, data plus one and extend this formula until the last row that we have 360 then we have the monthly investment so monthly investment will be uh, I have used the X lookup value to get the data from the above table let me go little up uh, let me press F2 so you can see here X lookup and I'm giving the reference of uh, uh, C2 to have the year C2 years year and then I'm getting the data of nifty data here likewise uh, I need to sum nifty mid cap and small so I use three time X lookup to get the data once you have the data for the first uh, uh, month you just need to extend the formula until the last row then we have the opening balance so opening balance is uh, uh, simple uh, what we can do is first month it is zero and the second month whatever we have the closing balance it will be the opening balance so I just given the reference of the closing balance uh, and then we have the interest earn to calculate interest earn uh, we multiply uh, this uh, uh, nifty amount that is 3000 you can see the g3 is where we have 3000 multiplied by i3 that is the return percentage uh, divided by 12 and the reason why we are dividing by 12 is this is the annual return of 12 percent since we are calculating for the month i'm cal i'm dividing by 12 and then we have plus again the same way for mid cap uh, 2000 multiplied by 17 percent divided by 12 similarly for small cap uh, 1000 multiplied by 18% uh, divided by 12 and then uh, once you have the data uh, then let's see the closing ban oh, okay so before that uh, how I got the next month uh, instead of multiplying uh, the again this data uh, so I have given the reference like this uh, if for 6000 uh, if you are calculating uh, the interest of 73 so what will be your uh, uh, interest uh, for uh, 6000 plus 6073 so you can see here so I started with G23 so G23 uh, is your uh, uh, monthly investment and then uh, I23 is the opening balance that is the previous month closing divided by what we have monthly balance of the previous month then multiplied by the total interest on the previously so this will give you uh, uh, just to give more simple example if I'm earning 6,000 for 6,000 investment if I'm earning 73,000 so for 6,000 plus 6,073 what will be my interest so that's how the calculation is done uh, so once we have this uh, interest earned the closing balance is very simple so you just need to add monthly investment plus opening balance and the interest earned then we also calculate the intra inflation interest inflation rate interest is again the monthly investment uh, plus the opening balance multiplied by the inflation rate what we have 5% uh, divided by 12 uh, just to give more intra information on this inflation rate I have taken 5% an average but uh, in India uh, for last 30 years so this is the detail of uh, inflation uh, rate percentage uh, we have the details of last 30 years and if I take an average uh, it comes around 6.73 percent so let me go back here let me change it as 6.73 percent uh, press center you see that calculation has changed and the table is updated and then we have the interest earned after inflation so again uh, whatever the interest earned uh, minus the inflation interest you will get the interest earned after inflation 
so once we have this uh, formula updated for the row number one all you need to do is just extend the formula until the last row the enter calculation will be done so now let's see how this table is uh, calculated so i press f2 from the keyboard so here to get the uh, sum of a total investment for the 10th year so 10 months 10 year multiplied by 12 months it will be 120 so i have given the sum from uh, uh, month 1 until uh, 120 so you can see until 120 similarly for the second month uh, sorry sir the second 20th year instead of 120 now i have extended this formula until 240 so now similarly for uh, 30th year i extend the formula until 360 uh, months uh, so though so we know the monthly investment now let's see how the interest earned is calculated same way uh, i have given the reference for uh, first 10 years uh, i have extended the formula until uh, 120 a month and for 20th is 240 likewise for 30 it's 360 uh, for closing uh, you cannot give the reference like this instead uh, for closing you need to give the reference of uh, cell 120 so here you can see I have typed as M141 let me drag it down you can see here one for M141 that is uh, end of uh, uh, one twentieth uh, month so that's how you need to calculate similarly for the uh, 20th month uh, 20th year you need to give the reference of instead of here m261 it should be m281 so once we have this closing balance uh, and we also calculate the interest rate to calculate interest rate uh, uh, interest to calculate inflation interest again this is the same reference what we have for monthly and interest earn uh, for uh, 10th year it's uh, for uh, from uh, 1 to 120 uh, likewise for this 1 to uh, 240 for this is uh, 1 to uh, 360 then we have the interest earned so again it's the same reference number similar to what we have here to now the final part is actual value of the uh, after actual value of the money after considering inflation to calculate this all you need to do is the closing amount uh, closing balance what you have minus the interest earned uh, the inflation interest uh, you will get the actual value it means end of uh, uh, 30 years uh, even though your closing balance is uh, 8 crores 34,000 uh, after the uh, inflation rate uh, that is the 3 crore 30,000 your actual value will be 5 crores uh, 4 uh, 